Hello, welcome to the Foxman Fam channel. Today it is just me, Shari, and I am um, here at physical therapy. Um, uh, several weeks ago, I did something really bad to my ankle. Um, it's not too dissimilar to the thing I did back in like May of the um, first year of the pandemic. Only see the other ankle, and there was no precipitating injury. I did nothing. It just decided it hated me. And um, I had an unfortunate experience with, I wasn't able to see my primary doctor. I saw a resident who sucked at their job, did not believe in reading my chart, did not listen to the disabled patient, and hated her. Um, she gaslit me, gave me the illusion of choice, and did not give me what I needed. And so my ankle actually got worse before I was able to see my primary doctor and get what I needed, by which point I had three tendons that were unhappy. So now it is about a month since um, my ankle started bothering me. Um, I still can't dance. Um, really, I am walking weird. Um, and it swells up and it's awful and I'm finally going to physical therapy so I'm very excited um, I know it's physical therapy is gonna fix it right away it's gonna be a process um, I have bad tendons so this is not a, a new thing I've been to physical therapy many times many times um, so it'll be a process but I'm glad to be getting it started so I just finished with my first physical therapy appointment it was delightful um, like my physical therapist. She's wonderful. She trusts that I know my body um, and I'm familiar with um, how my tendons work. Um, and uh, she felt that, you know, the home care stuff that I was doing was appropriate. Yay! Um, so I'll continue that. And she gave me a bunch of strengthening exercises and I'll be coming back weekly. Um, I had three appointments initially and she's having me schedule four more. Um, I have some new stretchy bands to work with, so we'll videotape some of that so you can see what that kind of thing looks like. And I'm probably going to need to start wrapping my ankles going forward in some fashion for dance class because of tiny, tiny, tiny little ankles. And I'm not a tiny, tiny person. I'm six feet tall. Um, and so she said that, yes, I should probably have my ankles wrapped going forward. A friend of mine had suggested, or asked, she said, do you wrap your ankles at all? And I'm like, no, no, I haven't. Um, so because it's the tendon's been injured and tendons don't heal properly, so um, it's always going to be weaker. Um, so uh, even with any strengthening. So um, I've been fortunate. I have not continued to roll my left ankle like I did several times in um junior high and high school and brained it quite badly but I've also um whenever we hike it's hiking boots whenever you know so I'm I'm cautious I've built in caution for my ankles but not for the pounding part of dance class so I'll have to look at what my options are for a some sort of support going forward to protect them but so far physical therapy was good. We talked about what we're, what our plan is, what our goal is. Um, I'm really pleased that her goal is to get me back dancing. It's not, let's reduce your pain and increase your ability to stand. You know, it wasn't that, which is what I've had in the past. It's like, okay, we're going to, we're going to increase your ability to do basic around the house things. You know, my arms are never going to be able to do some of the stuff that I would like of them. But my feet and my ankles can do those things, you know, they're regular things. So um, we're going to aim to get back to that. So I'm pleased. Cautiously optimistic. And I have a bunch of exercises to do when I get home.